It is Saturday, I think December 12th, and there's a cool coating of frost on a lot of the trees this morning. It's about 15 degrees. Um, it's about noon, so they'd be about as warm as it gets today. Um, we're making a run at Tuscarora. We haven't walked to Tuscarora yet this year, and we're gonna go over the Missing Link Portage and then over the Long Portage of Tuscarora and take a look and see what it looks like. This is the uh, right at the start of the Missing Link Portage right here, and I uh, think there's gonna be a lot of a lot of hiking going on. Not a lot of skiing, not a lot of snowshoeing. There's not much snow. There's only a few inches of snow in the woods, um, but with these cold temperatures that we're gonna get. It's gonna get below zero, well below zero, um, probably Monday night and maybe tomorrow night. And with no insulation on the lakes, um, I anticipate the lake ice is going to be pretty darn good by next weekend. It's decent right now, but um, we need that cold. And without the snow to insulate, uh, it's a wonderful thing. It makes a ton of ice really fast. It really hasn't been snowing out. These tracks that we're following here are from us hiking in here exactly two weeks ago on Saturday, the Saturday after Thanksgiving. Um, and there is, there's no snow um, on top of that. It's just crazy for this time of year. Missing link. Looking an awful lot like we left it two weeks ago. Boy, there's not much snow on that portage. If you're coming up uh, for some early season winter camping, you might want to have some backpack options because pulling a sled over that would be pretty difficult. Here we are. We started the Tuscarora Portage. Got about a mile hike through the woods and looks like we're the first people here. The only tracks are uh, maybe a wolf or two and a fox.
Cora. Looks pretty good. This, uh, this part of the lake looks like it may be, may have been frozen for longer than uh, sag, or not sag, seagull, and the ice skating that we're doing. Um, we, we don't really know when Tuscarora froze. Uh, there's definitely some nonsense going on out here with a pressure ridge or something. It looks pretty good. With the snow on it, it's been frozen for at least two weeks, at least in the bay right here. I think the uh, out there where that pressure ridge is uh, probably froze up about, oh, say Saturday, a little less than a week and a half ago. So we just had to come out and look at this pressure ridge just to see what was going on. Here it is along here. Now I think you can see it. And that's a pretty big pressure ridge for this time of year. It extends. So here's the Tuscarora Portage coming into Tuscarora. And we're just right in front of the bay here. And this ridge goes all the way along out to the point right here. It's kind of cool. Eight is out investigating the pressure ridge taking it real easy careful and there's another one way over here too now my least favorite part of the tuscarora portage everyone's least favorite part of the tuscarora portage hiking up out of tuscarora down Seagull Lake. Um, we're on the north side of the lake making a run at the Palisades and we, we are not skating we're just walking today. Um, we have no idea really how much ice there is but this looks like it's been frozen a while with the snow that's on the ice so we're taking it careful though. We've got ice picks, throw ropes, matches, food. We'll see. Uh, we may or may not make it to the Palisades based on what the uh, open water situation is. So we're working our way down the north side of the lake towards Seagull Palisades and we're really close. Seagull Palisades are just like right over here but there's narrows here that's got open water and then beyond there's another narrows with open water. So we're gonna to cut to the south, this direction, and see what we can find out. Here we go. Looks like we're gonna make it through. Oh. Maybe we're gonna make it through. A little bit of breakthrough going on here. Someone cracked through right there. But we're just going over here. Doesn't look too serious. Okay, we made it through. <laughs> we're back out on the good ice. Um, the Palisades are right around the corner. And we came right through there. And we didn't even get muddy. So we're doing pretty good. Here we go. Seagull Palisades. We made it. The ice is just beautiful. Below the palisades where the wind moves through here. You can see some of the cracks in the ice right there but that doesn't necessarily indicate that it is it's at least that thick but it could be thicker because the cracks don't always go all the way through
We've also answered the question, is Seagull completely frozen over? And I think the answer is no, because I can see open water way down there past Miles Island. And you can hear, um, you can hear ice hitting more ice, because it's pretty windy out. Look at this. So now we're gonna look east, um, kind of back towards the way we came. And this right here is one of the worst sections for ice on seagull in the winter. That's a common area that people go through uh, right next to the Palisades here. So if you're thinking of winter camping down here, it's a good idea to avoid that. Um, and the first section of open water we saw is actually just right around the corner there. So we cut around this island and came out right over here. And if you look at a map, you know what I'm talking about because it's a little confusing, but Palisades are a good reference. 